Hi, today I am going to show you how to more efficiently use the equation editor that comes embedded in Word. My hope is that this will help you to more um, effectively and efficiently communicate your work um, that has equations in it. Maybe you want to do homework and type it up or you're writing a research paper and you want to embed your equations and um, if you just kind of are using the equation editor uh, through the graphical user interface only and just kind of clicking it can get incredibly um, tedious but there are a lot of shorthands that you can type in that will actually make it more efficient for you to use so uh, we're gonna click on our word document to jump right in anywhere it doesn't matter but wherever your cursor is that's where we will embed the uh, equation editor so the hotkeys to insert an equation are holding down the alt key and then the equal sign plus sign key at the same time so alt equal and it will pop up you see right there type equation here and now you can click inside that box and start typing so you see here right now it's set with unicode and i'll walk you through how we use it with unicode and then there's also a latex editor so i'm going to show you some uh, latex syntax that also might be convenient for you and maybe hopefully um, as an avid latex user um, I'm always promoting LaTeX over Word for any complicated documents, it's certainly anything with math in it, so this might make you feel a little bit more comfortable about jumping over to LaTeX. All right. Um, there are some other options here like ink equation where you can like use your stylus to write in the equation and then just kind of circle it and we'll look at the syntax and kind of make the changes itself. Not really a big fan of that one, but it is available to you. I'm not going to show you how to use it today. All right, so I'm going to just start typing and let's start with a simple equation y equals mx plus b. That was really simple, right? Didn't really require anything. Um, but let's say I wanted to do another equation. So now I want to say y equals x squared. So if I do that, I'm going to hit shift and then the six key, with, which gives me the caret, and then the two, and that gives me the squared. All right. Now let's try one other one. y equals x sub one plus x sub 2. So to get the sub there, I put in the underscore, and then once you press space, it makes it a subscript. All right, let's make some fractions. So let's do y equals a divided by b. All right, that's just the backslash key, um, which sits right next to the shift key where you have the uh, question mark press enter and it will take care of that as well. If you want to put alt equal again, if you want to put parentheses or curly brackets around it, um, you can do something like this, y equals and open bracket a divided by b, close bracket, and if you hit the space bar again, it will expand the bracket um, to make it fit the whole um, uh, fraction. All right. Now, what if we're wanting to use um, Greek letters? We use a lot of Greek letters in math. So alt equal. Let's do. So here, all you need is the forward slash. Maybe this is the backslash. I always confuse it. It's the one right above the enter key. Um, and then start typing out your um, Greek letters. So if you want a lowercase alpha, you'll type alpha in all lowercase and you'll leave the first letter lowercase and it'll be an alpha. And let's say beta, gamma,
epsilon, and so on, right? Throughout the, the Greek alphabet, theta, that's a good one we use a lot, rho. All right, if you want them to be uppercase, like for example, delta we like as an uppercase, right? Uh, then just make the first letter uppercase and it will make it the uppercase Greek letter. If you're not sure of what the, the Unicode syntax is, uh, you can hover over, for example, here at the partial differential, when I hover over it, it will give you the Unicode syntax. So if I want to say partial x by partial y. There you go. All right. Uh, another good one to know is the equivalent, which gives you the three uh, equal, the triple equal sign. You need both a superscript and a subscript. So for example, x squared underscore a, okay? Um, and or you can do x underscore a caret to either order. And just being able to type it in as opposed to like clicking around for it, I think can be super helpful. All right, let's go into LaTeX. So over here, I've now changed how we're going to type. We're going to type it using LaTeX. So now we're going to work in LaTeX. So Alt equal, I'm going to select LaTeX if you haven't selected it already. And here we're going to write in LaTeX um, syntax, which has a lot of overlap with, um, with the Unicode. So, but here for fraction, we're going to do backslash frac A over B. Okay, and then press enter, and that's going to then flip it and turn it into uh, a fraction. If we do um, alpha, for example, hit enter, you're going to get your alpha. So basically what's going to happen here is if we're writing a large equation, um, let's see, y equals... You want to do multiple things in your subscript. Create a curly bracket to put it all in. So let's do just making up an equation and we hit enter and it's all there ready for us. So you would type it all in in the LaTeX syntax. It wouldn't, like with the Unicode, where as soon as you press the space bar, it would automatically reformat into the appropriate um, uh, visual way of looking at an equation. You would only see it after you kind of typed it all in, which you, know, you might find more convenient. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do some integrals using LaTeX. So here, you don't have to, but I'm just going to for um, completeness, y equals backslash int underscore. We're going to then open curly brackets and put in our bottom limit of integration. Here, I'm just going to call it a. Close curly brackets. To put the top uh, limit of integration, we're going to use the caret, so shift 6 and then type in our top limit of integration. Space x squared comma dx and the comma does not need to be there. So just space dx. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a summation. So here, y equals to start your summation, it's going to be the backslash sum underscore, just like you did with the integral. Open curly brackets to start what goes at the 
bottom of the summation. So here we're going to say n equals 0. Um, it usually does have an equal sign here. You're usually like setting your um, variable for the summation. And then to put what you're putting on the top um, of the summation, we're going to use the caret again. And here we're going to put infinity. So it's backslash INF TY space. And here we're going to say x to the n. And then press enter. And here we go. So a good resource for um, doing more of these, right, like maybe you want to do matrices and things like that, is uh, CTAN. So the resource that I use is this LaTeX Math for Undergrads. It's really comprehensive. And as you can see, a lot of your um, syntax is really going to match the syntax for Unicode. So really just depends on what you're comfortable with and, um, and how you feel like you want to write. But doing this can really speed up um, your typing and really make things efficient for you. So I encourage you to... Um, take a look. Uh, we'll add the link to that uh, LaTeX math for undergrads to the description so you can have it available for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe.